2020, two Category 4 hurricanes hit Central America. The water level at the state's second largest reservoir is the lowest it's ever been. Brought on by the effects of climate change. Warming climate also causing more catastrophic weather events. The government is stepping in, providing food for families in need and opening clinics across the country. A reality as the climate crisis tightens its grip, forcing people to the extremes. We must keep going into the streets and we must keep demanding our leaders to take real climate action. Climatologists warn it will only get worse. And we keep hearing scary stories about climate change. How according to the IPCC report, that we're in the code red for humanity. We were at the point of like no return. And if we don't fix it now, we're all doomed. And we won't have any planet left to live on. So should we really be scared? The short answer is no, actually, we shouldn't be. Now, why do I think that? So if you know me, I'm actually not an optimistic person at all. I like to believe that I'm not like optimistic nor pessimistic. I'm actually just like realistic. I like to think about all the logical solutions and possibilities before I make like a decision. I don't really want to include emotions in my decision making. And for the most part, I just say what people don't want to hear. So <laughs> I don't really hold back. I tell people what they need to hear based off of like factual data. And if it hurts their feelings or they get all sad or upset with me or angry at me, like it doesn't matter because I'm just telling them what they should hear. In the end, I'm just telling them the truth. And how they interpret that or react to that, it's really up to them. So in the end, here are the reasons why I don't think you should be scared or worried about climate change in the future. Well, the first thing is that humans are resilient and innovative. So yes, climate change is bad and people will get affected. Honestly speaking, people are going to die. Air pollution, for example, kills about like 5 million people a year. We just aren't really speaking about it because we can't see it. It's invisible. We don't see like different colors of the air. It's not something physical like a shark attacking someone and then we see blood or we can take pictures about it. No, again, it's an invisible killer. But even with like so many deaths, we still have an increasing population every single year. And we've done things to prevent air pollution from like getting worse. You know, we've created things like air filters that capture these pollutants. We're building cleaner cars and like cleaner technology. And some countries are coming out with stricter regulations. So despite many people dying from air pollution and eventually climate change, overall, the human species will continue to thrive. Humans just learn to adapt to whatever's thrown at them. And if we didn't, we would have been gone way long ago due to other previous events. Next is that there is still a planet. Let's face it, the environment is going to be negatively impacted by climate change. We all know that. Animals will go extinct, uh, plastic and pollution will ravage the whole world. It's going to end up destroying many ecosystems. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be a planet left to live in. So just look at history. Long ago, there were dinosaurs. But then all of a sudden, a huge asteroid hit planet Earth and wiped out all the dinosaurs. So in that case, the Earth took a beating, a pretty hard beating. But guess what? There was still a planet to live in. Just not much life on that planet after the asteroid hit, but we still had a planet. And over time, after like, you know, heavy beatings, new life emerged. Even with climate change and the increasing temperature and the whole destruction of the certain ecosystems, there will still be resilient life, you know, maybe not human life, that will inhabit the planet. So as long as we still have this rock that we're living in, there will be something to live in. Of all things, we just hope that it'll be the human species that will somehow still live in this rock. And lastly, maybe this is like the best excuse ever, is that we've been through much worse. So as previously mentioned, like we got hit by an asteroid, but again, life still continued on. We had things like ice ages that covered the planet, but again, life still moved on. Now, don't get me wrong, like climate change is still bad and we should still address it. And climate change is gonna hit the planet pretty hard too. Maybe just as hard as these events, the past events. But I guarantee you that we've been through way worse in the past. Increased temperatures and higher sea level rise that is not as drastic as being hit by an asteroid. We should probably be more concerned about what humans would do to other humans rather than what nature can do to humans. And so those are the reasons why I don't believe that we should be really, really concerned about the future and what climate change will do to us. Again, I don't want to downplay like the consequences of what climate change would do and say something like, oh, don't worry about climate change, it's nothing, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, no, 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 no. We should be addressing climate change since we already know what's going to happen. 
like a lot of death and destruction can be prevented because we can already see the problem and we can, you know, we can start working on some solutions now. I just know that one day, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next month, not next year, maybe not even in my lifetime, but one day when we are pushed back so far into a corner that we have no other way but to adapt, will we actually make drastic change? I just hate how we have to be like forced to do it and like in a way procrastinate rather than be smart about it and address it while we still have the time before you know it gets worse. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree or disagree? Are you scared about the future? Just let me know and I'd love to have a discussion. That's all I got. Just go ahead, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.